The first home loan deposit scheme. It seems like the first time in a long time you're getting something from the government as a first home buyer. Today, we're gonna go through what the first home loan low deposit scheme is, how you can qualify for it, and the updated version to 2021 that the government's introduced. Listen, there's a lot that's great about this scheme. There's a lot that's not great. And we're gonna cover off in the video. Should you apply? Will you be able to? Are there spots left? We're gonna go through all this video and even give you an idea of what we think about the scheme. So Jaden, let's start off with what the first home loan deposit scheme is. It came out a couple of years ago and it's a government initiative designed to help first home buyers get in the property market sooner. Under the scheme, first home buyers can buy a home with as little as 5% deposit. We haven't seen this for years and years and years. And the exciting thing is it's made possible because the government acts as your guarantor. They guarantee 15% of the loan, the bank provides the rest, and you basically get rates as if you've got 20% deposit. It's amazing. This means that you can get in your home sooner without having to pay lender's mortgage insurance, which represents a significant cost. Now in 2021, the first home loan deposit scheme was actually updated and upgraded you can even say. They increased the property price caps and a couple of other things you could do. They also introduced another 10,000 spots and made them available. They also introduced an additional 10,000 spots for new homes and 10,000 spots for single parents, which gave us a grand total of 30,000 places available. Yeah, no, it's been really exciting because that means if you're buying an existing home, you finally get a benefit. Potentially, if you're building or buying a new home, there's separate schemes or if you're a single parent. But what it doesn't take into account is the fact that it's run as a bit of a lottery. Realistically, it's first come, first serve. And in the current market, as we all know today, you're competing with the highest number of first home buyers we've seen in ages. We've seen a record number of first homeowners. This is the highest number since October 2009. So it's a great deal if you can jag it, but that's the question. Will you be able to get it? Are there gonna be spots left when you're looking to apply? So the big question is, can you get a spot under the scheme? Jaden, what have you seen so far? When the scheme was first introduced, it was done on a first come, first serve basis. So if you got your name in on the 1st of January of that year, you are likely to get a spot. But if you waited until end of January, Feb, March, there were no spots. The other thing the banks were doing at that point is when you put your name down, you actually got a number. So you kind of got a sense of where you were in the queue relative to how many people. So if you were given a spot of maybe number 5,000 that year, you knew that you were probably gonna get a spot because it was 10,000 spots, obviously. But come to 2021, the banks have changed their process. In the initial rollout, they found over 30% of spots weren't actually taken. So in other words, Nathan had put his name down and say, yep, I want a spot, gimme, gimme. He'd have that spot reserved for 90 days to go and buy a place. But he might not choose to even do a pre-approval. He might not go ahead with the bank. He might not even find a property and didn't go ahead. And that caused a big issue because then there were lots of spots being taken from genuine buyers that were trying to find a property. Fast forward to today, a couple of banks have changed their process around where you can put your name down on a list. You're not given a number, so you don't know where you're sitting. You might not even find out if you ever get a spot. We've had people sitting on that list for three, four, five months. But the minute you find a property, you send them the contract to sale, you magically get given an allocation to the first home loan deposit scheme. Now this works really well because in the past, as Jaden was saying, we had a lot of people that had this spot on the scheme. They were pre-approved or waiting to find the property, but never actually found a property. Now, fast forward to today, if you actually find a property, you've got a high chance of securing a spot. The crazy thing is 10,000 spots may seem like a lot, but we only need to look at June 2021 to see that there were 13,000 home buyers that entered the market for the first time. So like I said earlier, the chances of getting a spot at the moment are likened to winning the lottery. But what's been your experience, Nathan? Because obviously not everyone's gonna be eligible for the first home loan deposit scheme. The experience we've had so far, Jaden, is that the scheme is very limiting in what they actually expect. You have to be a citizen and you've gotta have a certain income criteria and also hit a purchase cap. Now, in theory, it sounds like a lot of people should qualify for this. In practicality, we get a lot of clients that are dual, you know, couples, they sit down and they talk to us. One's a citizen, one's a PR. Automatically, they can't get in the scheme. You've got um, Kiwi citizens coming in that are asking about the scheme. They don't qualify for it. So it sounds like a lot of people might qualify for it, but it's either they get out because of their um, visa or they're buying a property that's too expensive. So in our experience, there's been a lot of limitations on the actual criteria and being able to meet that. Because outside of the first home loan deposit scheme, if you have a 5% deposit with the banks, it's generally not enough. The reason is they'll only lend you up to 95%, including the lender's mortgage insurance. So typically you need about an eight to 9% deposit where the bank will lend you between 91 to 92% of the loan 
plus lenders mortgage insurance to get to 95%. So there's actually no certainty unless you can get one of these coveted spots, unless you go get a pre-approval, then you've literally, you're running against the clock because you've got three months to find a place. If you don't find a place, you can miss out. Or if the place sells for over the price cap, over 600,000 in Brisbane, for example, you don't qualify. So I think it's been kind of poorly managed and it could have been better thought out. There should have been potentially more spots made available or more flexibility with the timeframes or the waiting lists because at least then you can go out and start looking for a house with a bit of certainty. And even adding to that, you have permanent residents and New Zealand citizens that are out there that aren't qualifying for this scheme at the moment. And we feel that's a real shame because they're tax paying citizens, they're permanently living in Australia. I think they should definitely be able to get qualified for this scheme. And it's a huge loss because a lot of those first home buyers are trying to get in the market and really struggling. Not to mention the scheme is limited to only two major banks and a bunch of smaller regional banks. Why isn't it available to the more lenders to give you more options so there's less caps and restrictions because those banks and lenders obviously have their own policies. If you're casual and haven't been in your job for very long, maybe you can't buy. If you're buying in a certain postcode, that lender needs a 10% deposit, even with the first home loan deposit scheme. So there's a bunch of stuff there where it's a bit opaque and it would have been nice if it was extended. And it's not limited because again, this video in a few months, there could be no spots. You could be watching this down the track, hoping and waiting for the next July when there's more spots made available and trying to put your name in the lottery to maybe hopefully secure a spot. And do you need 5% deposit at that point? Do you need more? It's, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. So Jaden, let's talk about the pricing thresholds. The thresholds do change from state to state and even within regions within that state. So there is a postcode checker on the First Home Loan Deposit Scheme website that will include in the link below. Just to give you a sense of if your suburb where you're looking at buying is considered rural or metro. The updated thresholds as of July 2021 for established properties are in New South Wales, 800,000 for a capital city and 600,000 for regional. Victoria, 700,000 for a capital city and 500,000 for regional. In Queensland, 600,000 for a capital city and 450,000 for regional. We'll include links below because these caps do change if you're looking at buying a brand new property and they're only available for this financial year. So we're not sure if they're gonna change it back to how it was next financial year. Have to wait and see. There is also a bunch of income criteria and other criteria that needs to apply. You need to be a first home buyer in the case of the first home loan deposit scheme. You need to have lodged your 2021 tax returns because they need your notice of assessment, so be aware of that. And if you're a couple, interestingly, you have to be in a de facto or married relationship. So Nathan and I couldn't potentially buy together using this game. Can you clar clarify that? No, it's fine. Give me a kiss, love. <laughs> Give me a kiss. So how much can you save using the first home loan deposit scheme? Well, as you can see here, you can check out our LMI calculator on our website. But for example, if you're buying a home for say 500,000 and you're borrowing um, 450,000, you would be saving about 9,500 in lender's mortgage insurance. So it is pretty significant a saving if you can get the scheme. Summing it all up, the first home loan deposit scheme is a great scheme if you can get a spot. There definitely are some tough criteria that need to be met to be able to get in the scheme and secure a spot. I guess remember that different banks have different allocations. So if your bank that you bank with doesn't have it, maybe get your broker to check around and see if there are any available. Like I said earlier in the video, there are some weird peculiarities and you might put your name down a list and maybe never get it drawn. Maybe some banks throughout the year are gonna change back to allowing pre-approvals and doing short lists. I guess wait and see, but, but keep in mind, that's currently how a lot of the banks are prioritizing first home loan deposit scheme spots. So what's preventing you from buying a home? Here at Hunter Galloway, we get home loans approved. So if you're looking for a mortgage broker and you live in Australia, hit us up at huntergalloway.com.au and we'll see you next time.